That is the double zero, Jesse Stovall. Going into that second spot will be the 25 of Chris Simpson, the Iowa native. And a local favorite coming home in third, Andy's Frozen Custard, the 75, Terry Phillips. Heading down track side. Gonna get a few words with him down there. Jesse getting ready to get out of that car. Trenton Murray, the voice of the MLRA. Jesse still walking down here, ready to climb out of the race car. Like we might pop a little champagne down here in Andy's Frozen Custard Victory Lane. Second place, Chad Simpson's made his way back track sign. Champion Terry Phillips here as well. Outstanding run. Boy, Steve Bailey, the uh, year just goes on. What a, this, this is what time it's good to be a crew member, right? Yeah, definitely, no doubt about it. He's got his boy Jet right there. He swept the weekend. Ten wins with the Lucas Oil MLRA this year. Currently 19 overall. Jesse Stovall, Brad Looney set the pace early. You uh, got to kind of run your race and, and pick your points and then be able to get around him kind of at your choosing. Well, I don't know if it was choosing. I just, the track was, was off a passer right at first. I knew, you know, I just had to keep a good pace, but not a torrid pace. And, uh, you know, they come to me and then we got live traffic, kind of slowed Brad up there a little bit. And, uh, you know, I mean, I got to running that bottom and could run with him. We run side by side there for several laps. Um, and I just, I just was being patient. Um, I, there's not very much patience in me, but I was as patient as I could be. Your 10th win this year, you swept the weekend. Even by your standards, your wildest imagination, uh, you know, ahead of time, expecting a sweep, that would be a pretty lofty aspiration. No, I mean, that's not, <laughs> I don't go into any, any of these races thinking I'm gonna win them. Um, you know, you, you, just like um, I've heard people say, you can win one night and you can get laughed the next, and that's very true. This sport's a very humbling sport. And, uh, you know, we got a, girl, a lot of great competitors here racing us. Um, Chad, uh, Terry, all, all these guys, uh, each and every week, they make you they make you earn it. But this series right here is uh, um, the toughest series I've ever run, but the, the greatest bunch of drivers you can ever race with. You think you have any fans here tonight? Oh, absolutely. You know, that's, uh, that's what this is all about, these fans. I appreciate all you guys being here. I know there's a lot of Jesse Stovall shirts up there, and that, I see them, and that makes me proud, and I, I'm glad I have so many people support me. And, you know, if it wasn't for all you people coming out here, we couldn't come out here and do this and have fun. So, you know, it's great, and, and uh, I, I really appreciate them. The dream season rolls on. Absolutely. I mean, i got to thank uh, um, Mr. Bill Swafford. He's here somewhere. I don't know where he's at. Uh, he, he's, he's my biggest... Um, supporter, he, he always picks me up when I want to quit. I wanted to quit racing at one point last year just because I was having such a tough time, and and he just kept saying, "No, we're going to keep going. No, we're going to keep going." And you know, look what he's turned me around. And he, he kept me at it, and, and this season here has just been unbelievable. And I can't thank him enough, and and everybody else that helps me too. All these people that come each week and help me and and uh, get me through, uh, let me kind of relax and watch the races. It just it means a ton to me, and I thank all of them. Congratulations, Jesse Stovall. Give me one more round of applause, fans. Woo! We'll stay right up here on the front straightaway. Second place, Chad Simpson. You and Terry Phillips exchanged slide jobs and ran in close quarters quite a bit. But uh, to have a car as, you, as good as you had tonight has to be uh, make you feel pretty good and leave out of here uh, knowing you got something to work with. 
Yeah, about the last month here, the car's been really good. Uh, motor's been great and stuff. We uh, we just missed it last night early, just couldn't get qualified and stuff. And uh, you know, congrats to uh, Jesse on, on a kick-ass year on uh, whooping a lot of butt. But uh, you know, congrats to Terry on that championship. Uh, I know he worked hard on it last year and he busted his butt all this year too. So you know, congrats to him. I know he's a little upset with me on the slide job, but uh, you know, you get a racetrack like this and it's hard to pass. That's how you got to pass. So. But, uh, you know, you won't be the last guy talking at the bank, but this year you, you were there last year. But all in all, not quite the year you had last year, but it's, it's still a very solid campaign. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we missed one race here earlier this year, and, uh, you know, we fell out of a couple. We just early, first half of the year, we had some struggles, and we had some breakdowns and stuff that we couldn't control. But uh, all in all, the car's been great. You know, Terry was just... Uh, you know, consistent all year long, and that's all we did last year. You know, we won one race all last year during the championship, and uh, or actually we didn't win anything during the championship last year, and, uh, you know, that consistency is what pays off. Literally, zero margin for error if you want to win an MLRA championship these days. Absolutely. You know, you uh, you miss one night, and uh, you're going to be chasing it. Well, great run for it. Brinkman Motorsports Camp. We'll let you get back to your car. Thanks for talking to us. Round of applause, Chad Simpson. Bobby Bryant, the infamous stick man right here, Terry Phillips, 2015 champion. Let's start and uh, talk first about the uh, race tonight. You and Simpson exchanged some slide jobs back and forth, close quarters racing. You took care of business like a uh, professional that you are. Uh, yeah, I had to calm down and think about the bigger picture. So uh, that's all right. It's all good, you know. People you race with, you just you know what you got to do. But anyway, it's a uh, uh, a little heat of, the, heat of the moment battle there, but I'm so sick of looking at that blue car in front of me. Next year, I'm going to beat him. <laughs> well, he, you have the one thing that uh, he can't put on his mantle this year. He, he's made a lot of money this year and won a lot of trophies, but you're going to have the biggest one tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, tell, I told him long ago, if I get through this, you know, uh, he can win them battles, but I won the war. So. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a happy moment for us, and uh, uh, I want to thank Stickman there. He's just mainly me and him all the time, and, and uh, stuck with me, and, and Don Bad for all the help he does. He's put me in a, a good hot rod, and uh, Travis Seaver at that, that Kenny Tile there. He helped me on this car and stuff, so I got a lot of people, you know, of course, Andy's probably cousin for making a good ice cream, but. Uh, a lot of people on Durham engines, you know, I haven't had one, one problem this year. That's it. That's just a, a beautiful thing, you know, good power and dependability. But all in all, good year. Did get me wins I wanted, but, uh, you know, uh, decent year. Pretty good car to roll in next year with as well. Yeah, I'm, uh, maybe get one mic for a spare or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still learning it, you know, I'm only three or four races on it, so, uh, I got to figure out what to do when, but we're getting closer, so I'm pretty excited about it. Let's hear them all give you a round of applause. Look out there from turn four to turn one. Your 2015 Lucas Oil MLRA champion, Terry Phillips. Woo! That'll wrap up Victory Lane down here from Andy's frozen Victory Lane track side. We'll set it back up top to you.